right guys, still got some Vanitsa from yesterday. Right now is a crazy early morning, it's 6.33. The reason why we woke up this early is because uh, I want to get some drone shots of the fortress here, which is architecture and also natural part of the history. So I want to explore that, I want to make some great pictures and it's worth waking up early for that. So welcome to this new video. Stay tuned and uh, let's find out what does the poorest area of Bulgaria look like? That's where we're going now. We went to the city called Belogradski and uh, the morning was like this. And the reason why so foggy and cloudy is not a good thing because we were supposed to see the nice peaks of the mountain and the fortress. However, we were not able to do that because it was covered in the clouds and even with the drone, if I fly like 10 meters close, then I can see something, but nothing much. So what we decided to do, take our Renault Clio and drive to a new place close to the city called Lovech. So we're going to the seaside now and visit the caves that you just saw in the picture. And we're gonna be there in a moment. It's always good to have plan B. We couldn't enjoy as much of the mountains out being outside. So we decided to go inside back into the caves, into the caveman time. And uh, I mean, the view is amazing here. Alexandra, do you feel like you go back to the caveman time? No. Thank you for this interview. <laughs> So as you know, now it's March, the very beginning of March. As a matter of fact, it's 5th of March. And uh, you know, it's not popular time to come to Bulgaria. It's not popular time to travel at all. Even though I would say there is no such a thing as popular time. There is not a single person in this entire area other than me and Alexandra. What it means now is that we can enjoy it for ourselves. At this moment, it belongs to us. 
and we are the king and queen of this place. Am I right? Yes. Hotel Barosha, one of the best rated and cheapest hotels in town. So let's see if they earn this label. Dobry den. There goes our 43 euros, little upgrade. Looks so old fashioned or like a historical, which is a good thing, right? Yeah. Air conditioning. Oh, also a heater. That's pretty cool. All right, so we've been asking for a good place that they would recommend, and they said it's here. It's the best place to eat and to stay but that sounded a little bit biased but also quite honest actually so we don't know what to do but probably we're just gonna go out because we're gonna have breakfast here so why not go out and uh, explore different places because at the end of the day we're here to explore i noticed they always like i have not seen in any ever country that they put plastic to cover from the dust yeah, it, feels, it feels like presidential table here mini bar empty i was ready to eat all right now we go out for sure right yes. okay what's the view like looks like bulgaria what do we have here oh nice we're gonna be spending some time, only that this might not be necessary here. <laughs> Happens. Oh, no, shake, shake. Oh, private. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Where are we gonna sit? Of course. So what's your opinion of Bulgaria so far? I like the nature, I like the mountains, I like the caves. The roads are also fun. It's like you don't know what kind of, which speed you're supposed to drive, so <laughs> that's a bit funny. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the, the country is quite big and all the things to see they're not like in one spot so if you don't go to like the beach or just to go to ski and then you want to visit many things you have to drive so just it takes a long time and i don't know why but maybe because we come from netherlands like we live in netherlands and then when we go up because of the elevation maybe we get the headaches but i just feel dizzy quite a yeah. lot even though it would be surprising for many because the highest altitude we got was probably 1,500 meters. Yeah. But coming from a negative altitude, that's a <laughs> significant change. Yeah. I don't, yeah, because when, especially because some roads are like weekly, kind of, and then you're also high and then you need to drive in like those very, not like sharp turns, but like round turns and then just the pressure and everything. Serpentines. Serpentines, yeah. But I feel like especially because you can see there's like a lot of trees here and different, I don't know, flowers and different nature. So when everything is blooming, it should be very nice. So then we need to come back. We need to come back. <laughs> but it's 
it's also nice as we talked that now it's not a touristic season. So for example, when we went to caves, uh, there were like almost no people, like three other groups who were just alone. So I feel like sometimes when you see those like super nice spots, touristic spots, and you see those like perfect pictures, and then well, once you go there, it's not perfect because there's like a bunch of tourists there. And you cannot even take that picture, you can take the picture, but you just see a huge line to take the picture, yes. only for the picture. You know. And in this case, there's like no people, so you can just do whatever you want to do, so that's very nice to go, come off season. Would you like two separate plates? Or? Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. But, so like I mentioned in the previous video, it's important for us to eat what locals eat, and or what comes from here, so... Lots of dairy products and cheese, of course, is the, the main ingredient we eat all the time. Thinking about when it's a good time to visit, I, pro I think that there is no such a thing. So for example, today we started at uh, Verogradchik. It was supposed to be an amazing scenery with the fortress and the mountains, but apparently mountains are not predictable and it was really foggy. So all we could do is to sit in the car, drive away another 200 kilometers from there. And now we are coming closer to the sea, but still far away. Still, I, I would say that Lovech is part of the northern side of the, of the country. Tomorrow, we're probably going to Rusa. So yesterday we were at the border of Serbia, and tomorrow we're going to be at the border of Romania. But we're staying in Bulgaria because we came from Bulgaria. And uh, we want to experience it one country at a time. All right, so now I'm going to say goodbye to you and say hello to the food that's coming and I will see you in our next one. Goodbye.